In this video, we will look at how you can practice your keyboarding skills in typing.com. Remember, anytime you are practicing keyboarding, whether it's on typing.com or some other site, you need to always put your fingers on the home row keys. Remember, the home row keys are A, S, D, F, J, K, L, and semicolon. This is how your fingers should look while they are resting on the home row keys. Notice where the wrists are located in the first picture. They are not raised too high, nor are they resting bent down touching the table or the keyboard. You should always try to have your hands and wrists look like the first picture. There are two ways you can get to the typing.com student login. You can access it through the link in your assignment in Teams, or you can go to my virtual classroom, click third grade, and find the typing.com link on the board. Once you are on the site, you will log in with your Apollo Ridge email address as your username. Click Next and your password is your lunch number or your student ID number. Click Next. Let's look at the typing.com site. The first time you log in, please double check your account details and make sure your first and last names are spelled correctly. If you need to make any changes, please click in the box and do so and then click the button at the bottom that says save. If your account details are already correct, just click the lessons tab at the very top of the screen. Here you will see the lessons that you need to complete. You can also see at the top some information that will change about your speed and your accuracy as you complete lessons in typing.com. If you scroll down, you can see future assignments that may or may not be assigned to you later. Click Start for Lesson 1 to begin the J, F, and spacebar. Make sure to watch all videos in their entirety that are included in the lesson. They contain very important information to help you complete your tasks. Once the video is finished, you can click continue to move on to the next task. Follow the instructions that appear on the screen, and you can also watch the hands on the keyboard for a hint about which key you need to press. You will use the Enter key to begin exercises and follow along on your screen to complete each section of the lesson. This lesson has 11 parts, so make sure you complete them all. If at any point during your activities you see this red box that says, uh-oh, it means you must try again because you made too many mistakes. Typing.com also includes typing games to help you practice. Just click continue, wait for the game to load, and then type the letters as you see them come up on the screen. This is great practice. You can check your achievements at any time by clicking the link. Achievements will show you different things like how many stars you've achieved, any goals that you have reached, how many characters you've typed, your accuracy, games you've played. To get back to the lessons, all you need to do is click the lessons link at the top. And then you can resume the lesson from wherever you left off. Typing.com will save your progress automatically. There is no save button for you to click. Once you are finished, you will see something like this on your screen. 
way to go with some sort of medallion trophy spinning there. You can check the stars you've received and also your speed, accuracy, and your time typing. You can see all 11 sections are complete. If you need to, you can continue on to the next lesson. Or if you're all done with your assignment for today, just click the X to 